The aim of this video is to explain how various mystery rooms work, and to demonstrate how to do the fights in them. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using an already leveled item, and I'm going to be demonstrating this on 20 star enemy strength. As what can tell the mystery rooms work, I just want to show the enemies at their strongest. Now let's dive right in, shall we? We have one of the most sought after mystery rooms, the Item God Mystery Room or Dupe Mystery Room. Now, on top of this tall tower is the Item God. Now, because I have Margarita with. Let's find her. The Super Clamp Combat Ability, she jumps higher. And on top of that, uh, if you have the maxed life support unit uh, squad, then your units can triple jump. So with that combination, I can just scale it directly. But if you don't have super jump, you're going to have to try to jump up the towers, which I'm quite bad at. talk to the item god, and there is a chance you will copy the item mostly as it was when you entered. This also includes copying whether you've claimed the mystery room legendary weapon or not. The further you are into the item, so the higher the floor count, the higher the chance of the item being duped, and at, at 10,000 or more floors it should always be duped. Let's see if we get lucky. And we do. And we have a copy of the item. We have the Legendary Weapon Mystery Room, which is acquired for an achievement or a trophy. I've already claimed the weapon, so it won't be here, and any dupes of this item will also have this already claimed. Now there's a lot of conflicting information going around about what is actually required to be able to claim the weapon. Now as far as, as, far as it is known, to claim the non-carnage version of this, you need to have 40 weapon mastery. Whether it needs to be on the character you're controlling or even of the right weapon type isn't entirely known. For the carnage version of this, it seems that you need 100 weapon mastery in any weapon type on any unit, and you need to already have another Carnage Rank 40 weapon of the type of weapon that you're trying to claim. So since I'm trying to claim an Int Monster weapon, I would want something like, for example, a Dark Galaxy medal already, specifically a Carnage version. Hotsprings Mystery Room. Now this mystery room is needed for a, a trophy or achievement. Now you talk to this sign, and either you will fully recover your, your HP, fully recover your SP, lose 50% of your HP, or lose 50% of your SP. And I lost HP. We have the Treasure Chest Mystery Room. Which is, well, filled with treasure chests. the fortune teller mystery room. You talk to the fortune teller, and depending on your luck, she will increase the item's level by 5 for excellent, excellent luck, increase it by 3 for normal luck, or decrease it by 5 for bad luck. 
My item's already at the level cap, so she's not going to actually do anything to it. So anyway, bad luck, so it would have leveled my item down if she could have. I can keep talking to her. And if you keep talking to her, she will get annoyed and attack you. And you can fight her, and if you beat her, if she gave you bad luck, it'll undo the bad luck. If she gave you good luck, you can still fight her and it won't undo it. But you get an item level, you get an item level and some training bonus. We have the Mr. Egg Mystery Room. So you can pay to have Mr. Egg automatically appear for a certain number of floors. I'm not going to bother in this case. Bye bye now. We have the Key Chop Mystery Room. So you talk to the NPC and you are given various options. And this could include Bribe the Guardian, if you want to make sure that there aren't any enemies on the exit panel for a few floors. You could have more enemies if you want more kill bonus. You could try to lure the invaders if you want some more kill bonus and training bonus. If you want treasure chests, there's increased treasure. If you want to make some random innocence appear, you increase the innocence. Of course you have the option of not cheating. If you want to talk to this NPC, you have to select an option and that's what you'll get. Because if you choose not to cheat, you've missed your cards. Most NPCs work that way. Here yeah, we have a mystery room with a lot of shops in it. Now for each of these shops, you can only buy from them once. As in once per time this mystery room appears. So if you back out, she won't talk to you anymore. Unlike some of the other NPCs, you can't just keep talking to them to trigger a fight. So this one sells experience and mana potions. We have bribery related items. And we have the hospital. So here we have the item world of Mystery Room. This thief sells item world related items. And well, that's basically it. She won't fight you, even if you keep talking to her. So all you can do is buy things and leave. We have the curry shop for mystery room. The NPC here sells various curries, and if you're lucky she'll have the special curry, which fully heals whoever you use it on. However, once you've finished buying things, you can just back out, keep talking to her, and eventually she'll get annoyed and try to fight you. We have the Pie Mystery Room. Anything to note here? Talk to her. She will demonstrate. How to hit one with a pie. And then we'll give you the pie fun weapon. 
if you then keep talking to her... If I will, if I will start. Here we have the infamous bank mystery room. You talk to the Ark a few times, and she decides she doesn't like being robbed, and and these guards attack you, and you will notice they have completely maxed stats. If you are able to defeat them, they give an enormous amount of Eclipse Power HP, but honestly it's not particularly worth defeating them just for levelling items, because it takes too long. Now it is worth noting that if you trigger this by accident, or don't realise what you're getting yourself in for, well, it isn't visible here, because it's invisible in this room for some reason. Mill is still on an exit panel. If you need to, you can still have... You can still use her backbreaker to lift Mill off the uh, off the panel and escape. I'm going to actually clear this room, and the way I'm doing it is not going to be ideal. It's just going to be a way I feel like doing it. Go to Sicily to throw things around and also tank hit. And doing this with a 99 million stat unit just to make it easier. There are probably ways of doing this with lower stat units. So we have the professor or scientist mystery room, and she has clones of your characters. So depending on which one she chooses, this could be easy, this could be hard. If you're unlucky and you have a really strong tank, you might clone your really strong tank. Talk to her repeatedly to start. Attempting, attempting that might be to try, you can't try to steal the items. In fact, yep, straight zero percent. You can't try to cheese duping like this. <laughs> <laughs> 
we have the Nushi Mystery Room with Master Nushi in it. Now he's quite tanky, so he's actually rather hard to kill. Just stopped him a couple of times. We have the Pretty Train Mystery Room. So there's at least a couple of ways of clearing this. Main thing to note is because there's a lot of prunies, this room's actually quite good for Eclipse power. What you have to do is talk to the wrestler, talk to the warrior, and the room starts. Now one of the easier ways of doing this room is... And I'm going to find someone I consider to be expendable. You can have a monster Montos, one of the prunies, onto the spot it started at. This won't get you good power stats, but it will clear the room. Now, another way of doing this mystery room is with something such as Land Decimator. For this, let's equip my so-called Pretty Killer, which is just the stuff with Burner on it. We have the Celebrity Spa Mystery Room. Now, the general idea of this mystery room is there are loads of celebrity NPCs all over the map. But if you talk to this NPC a couple of times, the fight will start. So here we have the giant monster mystery room. Just talk to the penny repeatedly to start the fight, and you just have to fight a couple of giant monsters. If you've beaten Baal, there's a chance that you'll instead find a version of this with Baal and Proto Dark Death instead of the two normal giant monsters. Baal is much weaker than normal, as is the Proto, but the Proto still counts as killing Proto Dark Death for the purposes of training bonus, making it actually the highest training bonus mystery room. <laughs> しろ。これで終わりだ。せ。行くぞ。はい。さて、どうしましょうね。我が行こう。
さーてどうしましょうね改造してやれいきますHere we have the other version of the giant mystery room. You can see that, well, he might be a giant, but those stats aren't actually that high for Proto, and uh, that's actually a pretty weak ball. At least, he doesn't have uh, a whole load of scary abilities. Like before, we talk to the Prinny. おりゃ、キャッチ。いや。行くぞ。さあ、やらせはしない。ああ。出陣します。せい。我が行こう。And you get a bonus for killing for the Dark Death. We have the Bottle Mail Mystery Room. So you have some Bottle Mails, where you'll get random rewards for beating them. And to juggle fight in this room, you just keep talking to the Lucky Board and the Bottle Mail. お元気そうで何よりですぞ。体験ですな。いやいや、なかなか楽しめましたな。こちらから行くぞ。ほら。ほら。さて、どうしましょうね。出撃だ。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
we have the Lost Soldier Mystery Room. It's just filled with lost soldiers. Just talk to one of them a few times. Well, I think only once. There you go. We have the Princess Knight Mystery Room. Basically, you just keep talking to the Armor Knight to take her a fight. We have the zombie mystery room. So you just talk to the zombie to start a fight. We have the Born Fighter Mystery Room. You talk to whichever enemy is here, confirm that you want to fight, and you then have to have a one on one fight. It will not let you send out more than one unit, so you need to have to win this solo. And that is how the various mystery rooms work. I hope that was helpful to you, and thank you for watching.